Hello everyone, welcome to session 2 of module 6, Creating and Managing Scrum Boards in Jira. In this session, we will learn how to create a Scrum Board and manage it. So in order to create a Scrum Board, you first need to go to the Agile tab at the top, select the drop down and click on Manage Boards link. It will open Manage Boards page and it will show you the existing boards that are there in Jira. To create a new board, just click on Create Board and then you will find that you have two options to create an Agile board. One is Scrum, another is Kanban. So in this session, we will create a Scrum board. To create a Scrum board, click on Create a Scrum board and will ask you to create either a new project and a new board or board from an existing project. So if you have an existing project already and you want to create an agile board, a scrum board for the existing project, you'll select the second option. And if you have from existing saved filter, so suppose you have an advanced option where you have created a advanced filter and you, you want to create a scrum board from that JQL filter you can do that by choosing the third option so we'll create a new project and a new board so select the first option new project and a new board and click on next we'll ask you the board name so I'll say scrum board demo and just provide the project name some test just demo test project all right so it will automatically pick the project key if you want to change the project lead change you can change by just typing in the name here and will list the users that are there in jira so I'll assign myself as a project lead and then just click next. Now it will ask you to select the workflow. So in case you want to use your customized workflow, you can create your customized workflow and save it and it will give you an option for selecting your own workflow or you can select the default that is recommended workflow, agile simplified workflow or Jira default workflow. So I'll select Agile Simplified Workflow and then hit Create Board. So now it will show you that success you have created Scrum Board with the name and project demo test project. Just close the window. So this is your Scrum Board page. Now in Agile development usually you will be having a backlog uh, product backlog and then you will be moving that product backlog into release backlog and sprint backlog so I'll show you how you can create the backlog and move into uh, the sprints that you will create so in order to create a backlog or stories you can just click on the create epic link here and it will open create epic for this project so you can select the issue type either it can be epic or a story suppose you want to create a story so test story if you select create another this window will uh, always be open so we'll be creating few more stories so we'll check create another we'll quick quickly create some stories Okay, so we have created five stories which are there in the backlog if you can see here. Now, these stories need to be moved to sprint. So how you can create a sprint? To create a sprint, just click on create sprint and it will automatically create a sprint for you. If you want to edit this sprint, just hover your mouse to the sprint and click on this edit icon and change it to whatever name you want to give to the sprint and then just click somewhere else 
now how to add issues in this sprint so in order to add the issues just drag and drop the issues to the sprint so suppose you want dtp1 test story to go into sprint one just drag and drop it into one let me create one more sprint so it created sprint one two i want to edit it and rename it i'll change it to sprint two i want to add dtp2 to sprint two i'll just drag and drop it there similarly dtp3 so just drag and drop the stories into the sprints and the issues will get added into your sprints that you have created now if you want to remove the issues from the sprint just drag and drop it back into the backlog and it will get removed so after adding the issues in the sprints you would like to start the sprint and then end the sprint so to start the sprint just click on the start sprint link here and it will ask you the sprint name so it will be by default populated and the duration the start date and end date you need to select as per the sprint cycle that you're following usually it's two to four weeks so if you want it to be a four week cycle change the dates accordingly if you want it to be less than that change the dates accordingly and then just hit start so it will show you that sprint will come into the drop down here you can select this sprint. so it's sprint one is going on and you have two user stories that are in the to-do list once you are done with these user stories you can either change you can either go to these stories and change the status to in progress and it will move to in progress or you can directly drag and drop it into the in progress and the status will automatically get updated once dtp1 is finished and uh, whosoever is assigned this uh, whomsoever this story has been assigned has closed has marked as, as done he can either drag and drop into done or just change the status to done and it will automatically come into done section here so similarly if we'll finish uh, if you are finished doing the stories both of them are into done and nothing is in in uh, work in progress so now we can just go and complete the sprint so once everything is done we can just click on complete sprint and hit complete button here now you will come to reports section of the sprint and it will give you sprint report epic report version report velocity chart the burn down chart so all different details will be listed under the reports so in this session you have learned how you can create a scrum board how you can create sprint edit a sprint rename a sprint then how to add or remove an issue uh, from the sprint and then starting and ending in sprint thank you